All right, Jersey Mike and Matt Hi. back again in New Hampshire because none of my other friends are willing to eat 19 year old MREs. So, thank you again, Matt, for this third episode in Let's Eat 1995 MREs. Um, I'm a fan of the 90s, Mike. I'm a fan of traveling back in time. So, I have no problem. <laughs> Eating this brown, these mystery brown containers exactly. of military food, um, because like always, it's nice to know, you know, you know, for for the aspiring science fiction writers out there, how good relics of the past will keep in a survival situation. How are we going to be able to write post-apocalyptic fiction without brave souls like us testing the preserved food of yesteryear? In one second, I'm just going to adjust the camera. It's a little. Uh, in there. Okay, we're good. Anyway, uh, so anyway, this time well, we are going with, uh, you can't really see it well, but we are going with uh, scalloped potatoes with ham, uh, which is menu number 12, the last of the 12 menus in 1995. Um, last time we did chicken stew, which is a pretty safe menu. I've done two of those now, and these, those held up like champs. Peas were green, carrots were orange. Uh, the food was generally edible, although the pineapple was a little, seemed to be a little off. You pineapple off. was a little brown, if I recall. I don't think that was poisonous, but you put, put the scare on me. I don't want to get food poisoning here. But um, uh, today we're sitting in the nice sun of uh, uh, August, New Hampshire. And uh, I also made, took the precaution of opening the package, but I have not taken anything out. Just because you don't want to see me struggling to open a package. But this one did have a little slice in it, and that worked well. So let's see what we got going on here. This, this one's pretty hefty. This is thick. This is a nice thick one. It's why I picked so it over. a tremendous sense of value. Yes, good value for money. Okay, first we got a box. Um, kind of check the date code here. First, applesauce. We'll see if that holds up any better than the uh, pineapples. Uh, it appears to have a date code of 5, which is for 1995, and 512, which is the 150th day. So it's about halfway through the year. I think it's a May. Um, let's see what else we got. Applesauce. We got our accessory pack, of course, with the tabas the mini bottle of Tabasco, which doesn't seem to be quite as red as it normally is. Drop some stuff here. What is this? Cheese spread. Oh boy. Thermo pack, Stone Mountain, Georgia. Nice to know the South is contributing towards our. Military industrial complex. Yes, it's the great uh, cheese spread factories of Georgia that uh, my father worked in when he didn't exist because he didn't live in Georgia. Is there anything? Oh, does this come out of the package or is this on your ground? I don't know. Right. I, think, uh, I think that came out of the package. Sugar free iced tea drink mix. Make sure you guys can see that. This is interesting. It just sort of came out with NutraSweet. Is NutraSweet still a thing? Um, they call it aspartame now. Oh, what that, it was. is that? Ninja Sweet was the uh, was the, the name brand of uh, of aspartame. I guess it's off packet, uh, off pack now. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, the crackers. The crackers. These, those are the best pie things in the package. Vacuum seal. Look. Super cracker. Yeah, they're good. They got the little uh, indentations on the cracker. The awesome spoon. Although we do have our own forks, but we might break out the spoon. Flameless ration heater. These take a little bit ready to go since they're this old, but they will work. All right, the and the main course, scalloped potatoes with ham. Uh, eight ounces. There you go. Uh, uh, San Antonio, Texas, where else? So we're eating like we were eating in Bosnia. Ooh. Cocoa beverage base. Cocoa I told you. Did base. you bring the? Did you bring the? Uh, what do you call it? Um, gin. So I mean rum. We could add some rum to that. All right. You might have to. It's a bit. It's a bit hot for hot cocoa, though. No, no. I well, we can make cold cocoa. I think. Cold can we? What did we do last? Oh, we had boiled the water last time. Yes, we had. All right. Maybe we'll hold off on this for. Hold off on the cocoa. Yeah, because it's just cocoa, and we I. We have iced tea, though. We have sugar-free iced tea. That's probably a better bet for today. Ooh, shell stable fudge brownie. 
shelf stable fudge brownie. I love brownies. I love cake brownies, not the fudge brownies, but we'll have to see. I love shelf stable stuff. Feels like a cake brownie. No, it's got the consistency of one of those, like, it can stop a bullet uh, fudge brownies. So we'll have to see how that. We'll, 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 squishy. We'll be surprised. Well, yeah, you want it to be squishy. <laughs> Okay, there goes the bag. Now I need to figure out what we're gonna do. So, since we aren't going to be boiling water for the hot cocoa, since they did give us this alternative beverage, um, we might just save this for tonight. That's probably the main beverage they wanted you to have. Uh, let's give the, uh, uh, how much, one of these iced tea drinks goes, oh, it only makes eight ounces, that's not great. So what do I want to do? I think what we want to do is uh, get the applesauce. we want to get the, the the main thing cooking. Okay. So while we do that, we can then talk about the other stuff. All right. Not much to see here. Feels all right. It's not puffed up. It's clearly still vacuum sealed. Let's see that. If you care. Potatoes with ham. All right. Self-explanatory. Yes, it is. All right, it is time to activate our ration heaters. Activate the ration heater. Swoop. Off. Off goes the top. First thing I'm going to do is just pour a little water. You don't need a lot of water with these, but I'm just going to pour a little water in that glass. You then, as I'm sure you've always seen, you stick this into the, the heater. Um, one of the sides. Come on, get down there. There it goes. Get that down there. And you just want enough, enough water in this to cover the cardboard so that it's activated. Too much water is a little bit of a problem. You really don't need a lot. Okay. Fold it over once. Make sure that whole cardboard's nice and soaked. Now these older ones take a little bit, a little bit time to get going. So now I'm going to place it against uh, the famous MRE rock or something. We do have a rock for this. And upon that rock, he ate his MREs. So it is official. We are using, we are using a rock. Okay. All right. Hopefully this will this will get going. So this can take a bit. They, oh, it's it's working. I can feel it. But when they're older, they take a few minutes to get going. Now do you want the uh, the applesauce, the crackers, and cheese now? What do you want to do? You want to make beverage first? All right, we make beverage. Let's make it in yours, and then oh, yeah. let's make it in yours, and we'll we'll divide it up. Okay. Nineteen year old iced tea. It's powder. This stuff will last forever. Kind of like feel like I'm in the future, where everything is a pill or a powder. The, what a horrible present we live. It's like a, all the uh, shows in the future from the 70s. Give that a stir with your fork. Is that eight ounces? And out. Maybe a little bit more than that. All right, how does that uh, taste? It's got the uh, heady, earthy aroma of uh, iced tea sweetened with NutraSweet. Why is it like a Nutra Sour? I'd like to know. It uh, lost a bit of its sweetness. It did? Yeah. Oh, let's, let me try. Yeah, I think it might need to be stirred a little bit more. Ooh, it is a little sour, but yeah. it has lemon flavor, so that could be it. I remember it stirred a little bit more. Do you I, think we have, uh, so I think we have some powder on the bottom here. But uh, it's got a little bit of that lemon flavor. It's got a bit of a tang to it. Uh, I wouldn't say... I've noticed a, a tendency for sort of sweet things to degenerate mm -hmm. uh, first. So that it's sitting around. But yeah, it's got a little bit of a tang. It's uh, not quite, uh, not quite what I would call uh, sweet anymore. Well, hold on to that for your main course. We don't have a lot of beverage today. Um, what is next? Ah, yes, cracker plus cheese. Cheese spread. Cheese spread. Now again, I've seen these. These 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 tend to be a champ. So I'm not too worried. So let's see. I can do. Let's see if my camera can hear the hiss of the. Uh, the crackers, probably not. Uh, ooh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. There you goes. That's like air from uh, 
No, no, there's no air. There's the no air, air is rushing in. There's a vacuum from 1995. Vacuum from 1995. Here we go. So I guess you count off the uh, cracker pieces. Like uh, 2001, uh, also Ooh, Spark, so it's intact. Extra. Look at that. Done. I mean, it's a Done. cracker. Done. Da -da. And Dun, the other half. Dun, so this is Dun, one break, Dun. you know, one break per decade that this thing has been around. Putting this over there. All right, time for the cheese spread. I'm going to try to push this down a bit so I don't have to tear through it. Tear lines right here at the top. Very, I'll fold it back. And out it comes. Now, ooh, it's crumbly. It is crumbelievable. Now, as I said, I've I've heard I've seen people eat these in this kind of crappy state. You can go first if you want, but if you want me to, I will. It's alright. Is it okay? Not much of a cheese flavor left, unfortunately. I will try one myself, and if. It's got the cheese consistency. Not a lot of flavor. Yeah. A little bit of a saltiness. The grape jelly we had last time, I think, worked a little better over the years. So don't, don't, uh, hold off on that. Maybe we'll have that with the main course. Okay. Not bad for 19 years old, though. Yeah. I don't want to shake this off my thing. Much how much more of these I want to do. It's kind of nasty. I want to finish it. Oh, sorry. Well, you want more? Sure. All right. Here you go. Oh, they they did not spare the portions. Let's check our thingy. Oh, wow, that's hot. All right, our food is still cooking, but it is still a little cold. So it is time for somewhere. Ready for some applesauce? Opening up the applesauce bag. Should make sure I check the uh, time on the clock there. Yeah. Feels liquidy. I don't know. The cheese stuff is still grow starting to grow on me. Yeah, go. Well, I mean, you want more? I mean, go. Uh, hold off on them for just now, just in case we need to uh, try Perhaps some. Perhaps we misjudged them. All right, here's some applesauce. It'll probably not be the quite proper color of applesauce. Is there a proper color for applesauce besides beige? Beige, but you can get to brown. All right, here we go. This is durable. Oh, shoot. Oh, that is not bad at all. Or is it? We'll have to see. It smells like applesauce. It does not smell like alcohol. It does not smell like rancidness. It is somewhat brown. And it's the same brown as the pineapple. But I don't think that's a huge problem. How is it? It's actually, the flavor is, is all there. I don't know if the discoloration has, uh, has done anything. This is pretty. Uh... That's good. Mm. It's perfectly acceptable. Here, you might not be able to see it there in camera TV land. See, it's brown, but it's a good kind of brown. It's not quite as sweet as a lot of the ones you get from the store. I think that has to do with the age. I noticed that uh, sort of as we were talking about the iced tea, the sweetness is often the first thing to go. You ever had a can of uh, like Pepsi from about like five or six years ago? This has been sitting on the shelf. Well, sealed. that's because you have like phosphoric acid in that. I thought. I would imagine that whatever preservatives they put in those too have a similar effect. Interesting. I'm just gonna keep letting this yeah, thing soak. I got this on my hand. I have to lick it off here. Ooh, that the heater is going pretty well, but I'll let that keep going here. We can finish this off. Not bad. Sauce through the ages. It's exactly what I would expect from applesauce. Yeah. It's got almost a little bit of a 
spicy kick to it. As I said, it's, it's the way it's not sweet. It's it's, it's not sweet in like those those apple sauces that don't add sweeteners. Yeah. You know, it's like the one where it's like it starts off a little sweet but doesn't finish sweet. It's you know the one that's like, oh mom, why did you buy the hundred percent natural applesauce instead of the one that's packed I full of corn syrup? I still want cheese spread. What on the on the crackers? Yes. All right. I know you, you don't like it, but I like it. Go for it. Can't get enough of that twenty-year-old cheese spread. So the tops and bottoms will often have uh, a little problems with uh, the discoloration, but uh, that's cheddar. I mean, that's cheddar color. Yeah. It's almost like it's been self dehy it's been self um, dehydrated. <laughs> I'm such a sucker for artificial cheese. Yeah, I can eat the I won't put the applesauce in the crackers since the crackers kinda and the cheese go together. Alright, while we while we're waiting for the uh, food to fully heat, I mean, we can go through the uh, well I can I can announce what's in the uh, the accessories pack, which really isn't uh, that that exciting. Show you guys again, front and back. Got Taster's Choice, the Tabasco, two pieces of uh, dental gum. Let's shake this around a little bit. One pack of Domino sugar, a wet nap, toilet paper, matches. One combination miniature Russian phrasebook yeah. and Bible. <laughs> Russian phrasebook and Bible, yes. Uh, phrases and holy verses. Non dairy creamer and iodized salt. So, nine packs of chewing gum. Shoot, it like it has a pretty good weekend in Vegas and all that in the, stuff. In the videos I've seen with the international ones, they often give you a bit better uh, accessories. They'll give you a whole bunch of teas, a yeah. couple extra things of coffee. Uh, this is not a day ration, this is still just one meal. Uh, but I think that international ones, maybe modern ones, are a little more generous on the packages of powdered beverage. Well, now you just go to your base in like Bagram Airfield and there's a McDonald's there. <laughs> well, this isn't for that, but they really want to try to get you to stay hydrated. And I think that they, the newer packs yeah. are better about giving you hydration options. Whew, okay. I know um, there was a uh, Special Forces base that ran out of the Gatorade um, in Afghanistan a few years ago. They started making their own. A powder or just... Liquid form. Liquid form. Hey, the cocoa beverage is made in New Brooklyn, New York. Interesting, the... Uh, Along with all our fortune cookies. Uh, nice to see that some camp company still doesn't want to acknowledge the unification of 18, whatever, 99. <laughs> so, go Brooklyn. Um, uh, ready for the main course? You kind of need to be here at some point. Let me just clear some stuff off. Sweet. Plate. My cheese dust. All right, I just want to make sure it's, you know, no one wants a not warm meal. Ow, ow, hot. I think it's hot enough. Well, the heater certainly is hot enough. The question is just how much the food is hot. I think we're ready for this. Oh, God, that's hot. Yeah, well, that cool down a little bit. All right, let's see how the food feels. Warm on that side. Tap it on this side. Eh, I'll call it a go. Alright, here we go. This is the one I'm not sure how this is going to be. For, oops, wrong side. Da -da 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 it could go either way, man. This one's hard to get below the bag cuts to get the actual entree below the, the cuts in the side. Done, done. Okay, here we go. Done, done, looks, done, done. oh my god, this actually looks great. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that gelatinous slop. A gelatinous slop. Look at the look at the look at the texture in the very uh, nice color on the ham. Hold on a second. Pink, I want to uh, show it to the people. Show it to the people at home. Show the it to the people at home. at home. We have ham. Ham from 1995. But look, look, it's actually still pink. The potatoes are still white. This is another victory for shelf-stabilized food. Oh, wow. That's good. Oh, man. It doesn't taste weird. It tastes just like I would expect. Shelf-stable ham. 
Get a little bit of citrusy tang to it. It's like a corned beef kind of taste. Mmm. I was just thinking like corned beef hash. Well, I'm to having ham and a lot of your rations is they cannot be used by today's current enemy. I know that's necessarily true. Not all Muslims observe uh, halal. Good? Mmm. Mm. It's really good. So we are batting a hundred, a thousand, well, we are batting a thousand today. With everything in this is a, is edible. Yeah. We probably could eat in those, those, what do you call those? Pineapple well, chunks I from last know. year. Mm. Sorry for just watching this eat, but this is really, really good. Yeah, be jealous at home. We have 19 year old shelf stable ham and you do not. Mmm. <laughs> Oh, it's 19 years old, and it's shelf-stable. Mmm. Here it is. Another eating review. I always wonder, so, so many of the YouTube ration reviews just have people, like, opening up the container and putting them somewhere. They never, ever film themselves actually eating yeah, the stuff. Yeah, I'll get a little bit of that. Right? There you go. Oh, thanks. They rarely film themselves eating it. We did not need the crackers for that. Look, it is gone. Boom. Yeah, but more of this cheese spread. Three minutes in and that is, the, all the food is gone. Well, no. We still got the self-stable fudge brownie made in San Antonio. As Matt scarfs down the remainder of the cheese and crackers. I you can't judge me. <laughs> 19 year old artificial cheese spread. It's really good. Alright, so all we have left is the brownie. I'm not sure where we have to put it. What do we have? No, it's, it's easy to clean up the ham stuff. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready. Everything's opening very easily. I'm very happy with that. This is our best one yet. Oh, this one's nice. Well, it's a little, it smells a little, it's a little crumbly. It's crumbleable. A whole bunch got stuck inside. Alright, I'll show the people. Hold on. Yep. But I want it. Here it is. As you can see, it's a little crumbly. Not moldy. There's a desiccant in there somewhere, so we'll get that out. The big one? Oh, there we go. There we go. Alright. Alright. That's pretty fudgy. Oh, weird little tang to it, though. Yeah. That's not great. Oh, we were doing so well. Well, it's not inedible until yeah. I get sick later. A little bit of that, um, like a coffee grounds bitterness to it. Probably the chocolate not doing so yeah. well. That pound cake is always pretty good. Now, it could just be I'm not a fan of this kind of brownie. I don't know I what mean, this... it's definitely chocolate flavor. It just feels like it's uh, it's lost some of its sweetness. So it's increased the bitter. bitterness. The bitterness is, is, is a very chocolatey bitterness. The texture, again, is probably might it just be a texture of what you need to create a 19 year old long lasting brownie? No, the texture doesn't bother me so much. It's, um, it's a very bittersweet flavor to it though. I've had real brown no, I've had real fudge brownies that taste like this. Mm. It's a little it's a little bit of the bitter lingers. Mm. But it's still chocolatey. So it hasn't lost that flavor. Oh, they're fun. Gotta give the, you gotta it's give more them chocolatey than actually a lot of the brownies in the market now. They just taste like sugar in comparison. I like cake brownies. People make fun of me for that, but I really prefer the cake brownie. This is let this isn't this is like a mix. So a lot of brownies you get are those really solid brick fudge brownies. Well, the cake. This is like a really cheesy cake brownie. It's not fresh. It's not 
something someone made and brought into work. Yeah. But that's not one of those brick brownies that are just made of fudge. You know, that you could stop bullets with. That's not bad. I'm, I'm eating it. It's having a good fill. I filled up on all that cheese spread. You still got? Did you use all the cheese bread? Oh, uh, you still yeah, got some for you. No, no, you can uh, you can use the rest of the crackers. I'm good. So anyway, we're we're winding down. Much like last year, I'm pleasantly surprised. Yeah. There are a couple risk. Uh, I think I still have a spaghetti, a spaghetti that one meat might be sauce. A little risky. I don't know. Um, the ones I've heard bad things about are the dehydrated pork patties. Those always, those always had um, bad reviews. But I don't, I don't think I have any of those. So you're scarfing down the cheese spread. If I want the cheese spread left over, I can take it and have one on my own crackers. There you go. Cheese spread improves with age. I think that's our takeaway. I can't find the line. And again, the entree hit out of the park. Really good, really good entree. It vanished just as fast as the uh, chicken stew did. The brownie, I think, is a little bit of the, uh, the weak link in this, uh, in this range, but Yeah, a pound cake would have been a lot better than the brownie. I'm not sure how they apportion this, if the brownie goes with all the ham or they mix and match it. I'm betting someone actually figured the brownie would go better with this, but we'll have to see. I have a terrible problem, though, Mike. What? I don't have any more crackers. No, we can go I'm get some. Right anyway, I think that's pretty much it today. I need cheese bread. <laughs> Matt's bailing to go get cheese bread. I need cheese bread. See ya. <laughs>